In the lovely old village of Penshurst in Kent, there's a blacksmith's shop with a doorway shaped like a horseshoe. Costing 1,800 pounds, it was built 50 years ago by the father of the present Lord de Lisle. England can boast many beautiful old smithies, but surely no other that has been inspired by the lucky shape of the horseshoe. Another unusual sight in the Kent villages round Canterbury is a lady's sweep. It may be that Miss Weston wanted to go on the stage as a black-faced comedienne, but couldn't afford the necessary black. So she started this job, and she'll soon have saved up enough soot to last for the rest of her career. Anyway, she plies a pretty brush, and works pretty fast too, by the look of things. But wait a minute. Soot gets in your eyes. Now, what do you know about that? Let's turn to something more natural. Let's turn, in fact, to the wonderful natural rock formation which forms the frontier between German Saxony and Czechoslovakia. It's called the Prebisch Tor and is one of Europe's wonders of nature. Passing through this rocky fairyland, it's hard to believe that the hand of man has not shaped these cliffs or cut these canyons or traced these swift moving streams or designed these rushing waterfalls. Now the waters gurgle over the rocks. Now they flow so smoothly that their movement is almost imperceptible. In the Prebisch Tor, nature shows her innumerable moves. One of nature's wonders. And now, in the flash of an eye, we go to New York to see one of science's wonders, the Hayden Planetarium. Inside the great hall of the planetarium, this projector throws onto the ceiling spots of light representing the stars in their courses. 9,000 stars are projected, a vision of the heavens at night. From his desk, the director can make months and years pass in a few seconds. England as yet has no planetarium but it's to be hoped that one will soon be built to show us some of the latest wonders of astronomy.